style videos you know just to um, document my journey of coming up with an idea um, testing it out trialing it out on different fabrics and finally coming up with my final creation and maybe even through the process of um, uh, directing a photo session just to show you know the creative process of um, you know what goes on in my head and how I actually get ideas down maybe the commercial patterns that I use how I hack them or things that I create from scratch. I've been thinking about this over the time and I've just been nervous to put myself out there in that sense but I mean sod it I'm doing it. <laughs> so um, yeah so this morning I've started off with come up with a few ideas I'm going to be writing a column oh I forgot to share I'll be doing some I'll be a column on So HQ So, so Magazine um, in the UK and um, you know I do I do have a few columns plan for the next few but well, I'll do a column for every issue and um, I do have a, a few ideas but I thought rather than just showing the idea on you know through images a few images on a spread and um, you know a few paragraphs I thought it would be nice to just show my process on video I hope I won't be too boring for you but um, it's it's just an idea and I hope it works out if this video makes it onto the interwebs, yay! Otherwise then, you didn't know about it. <laughs> this here, I've got this fabric. I really like this fabric. It's a, it's a two-way stretch. Two-way, no, four-way stretch, but on one side, it's stretchier than the other way. This way, it's not as stretchy as this one. So definitely, this would go across the body and not that way. Otherwise, it would cool down. It would like gravity, obviously force of gravity pull it down and the shapes would get distorted so you're better off having it this way so that's what I'll be doing and um, so I'm going to show you the process of me creating it but there are if you are not really bothered about creating your own um, about creating your own um, pattern I've got a few ideas for you got you covered got you I have the um, Butterick 5 Eight nine eight pattern six three zero one by new look um, simplicity eight nine two five simplicity eight nine two five for stretch fabrics this one by McCall's the six eight six nine five eight Butterick five oh three oh and this one surely is for jersey it's a McCall's fabric six eight eight four and this one here was what I was initially going to use but then I decided to um, make it on paper so I'm going to be creating my own let's see wrap dresses are a big favorite of mine and um, I do hope I do justice to them on this pattern so let's take you over to the pattern table to the pattern table let's take you over to my cutting table um, yeah I really love wrap dresses. Wrap dresses have been um, a favorite of mine. Um, I, I, you know, I like Diane von Fustenberg wrap dresses, and um, I've always wanted to create mine. But the thing with wrap dresses is um, the problem with that is, um, you know, you've got your you, when you have your darts, when you've got the bust darts, the, uh, you know, the side bust darts and the waist darts transferring those in order not to distort the design of your garment is has always been an issue of mine but since I will be creating the pattern um, I'll be creating the pattern for stretch I'm going to leave the darts I'll leave no I'll transfer the darts onto the side seam in order to 
not have darts, basically. I'll just get rid of the darts. I'll eliminate the darts at, by shaving it off from the side seam. That's my intention. I'm unsure about this. I don't know how it would look on, on, on me. I have so far transferred this dart. So I, I've transferred this dart into the wrap, um, the, the line, the wrap line. So this here, when I trace it back on the paper, I will um, adjust it and make it a bit more, get rid of the angle there. I transferred this, this side bust dart to this dart here and then I transferred this dart here to there so I'm thinking to maybe add some gathers so when I actually it would become a, a that would have um, a few gathers here and this would form the bust dart and um, I'm actually liking it so far so um, obviously this would gather up here and actually really like this now so there's no darts there. The, the intention was to have no darts because um, I don't want to distort the shape of my fabric, the style of the fabric. And I also, um, I don't like darts on jersey fabrics. I just don't like the look of it. And I'm looking for a sleek gathered dress, like sleek silhouette. The gathers there, I don't mind, but, um, and then this one here, obviously you can see it's angled. So I will be adjusting that when I trace it out. Always remember to add seam allowance there because this, mm, maybe I would add some sort of, I don't like facing, I don't like adding facings to um, wrap clothes. It might be one of those, um, a band there, I might add a, like a one inch band um, and then you just have them sitting nicely and flat on the, against the chest, against there. So looking good so far. two I need to cut two of these one going this way one going that's obvious isn't it but um sometimes you might not be brain might not be engaged so engage brain two of these 
and I'm going to cut this on so I'm gonna make this um on I'm going to cut it on the on the, on the grain so this is gonna be um on the straight grain I tell you the reason why I don't want it to overstretch on you know here I don't want it to be overstretched I want it to be nice and um firm so I'm gonna sacrifice the you know the I'm going to sacrifice the linear nature of the fabric it goes this way I'm going to sacrifice it and cut it like so this is the straight straight going down that way so I'm going to cut it like that but also I like to cut my fabric um <laughs> I don't like cutting fabric when it's folded and you can see the wrong side I like having the right sides up so I can see what I'm doing it's just a habit so tell me what do you do do you normally have yours facing up or down it's a personal choice it's up to you what you want to do So, um, you know, it's evening, my daughter's back from school, sorted her out, she's with her grandma and her dad, and I thought I'll come back and carry on. I, off camera, I stitched up the, the, the shoulder seams and the side seams, and I'll show you. It's quite busy there, there's so much going on there and thinking about it, I'm even going to have, um, I'm going to have sleeves there, so I feel like it's just too much, so I want to try again, I want to do it again, but you know, this time it would have less, less there and it will be, um, it won't be too chunky there, so I'm going to do it again, going back to the drawing board, um, see how it goes.